Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hopefully everybody got their food. Uh, my name is uh, Sam Balke. I'm from the University of Chicago, and I've been a frequent flyer down here at the uh, Methodist uh, Re-Evolution meeting. Mahesh uh, was kind enough to give me the honor of introducing our luncheon speaker. Uh, it is Dr. Johannes Bonatti, who is an extremely good friend um, and a very talented uh, surgeon. Um, he has been doing uh, robotic uh, coronary surgery and robotic other surgery for a long time and is a professor and teacher of all of us uh, of this technique. Uh, he is the president of the International Society of Minimally Invasive Cardiac Surgery, Cardiothoracic Surgery this year and uh, we'll be giving the uh, luncheon uh, address. So uh, please uh, uh, join me in welcoming uh, Dr. Bonatti, who came from Abu Dhabi at the Cleveland Clinic and incurred a long trip uh, to be here today. Thank you, Sam, for the nice introduction. The two of us have worked together so many years in the field of robotic TCAP. Enjoyable work. But I will spend uh, these next few minutes more on telling you what uh, the International Society of Minimal Invasive Cardiothoracic Surgery is, what ISMIX is, what it does, how we spend our year uh, uh, throughout. Uh, ISMIX um, was formed uh, to organize centers that do less invasive heart surgery. And uh, we also want to take uh, a leadership role in, in, in all of that and shape the direction where uh, less invasive uh, heart surgery goes, where less invasive thoracic surgery goes. And we want to do that uh, on a global basis. That's why we are called uh, International Society of uh, Minimal Invasive Cardiothoracic Surgery. Our mission statement, uh, so we are committed to lead and promote innovation and technological advancement in cardiothoracic and cardiovascular surgery through education and scientific analysis. Important to us is uh, this part, the technological advancement. We want to do that in strong cooperation uh, with industry. We, I will come to that later. Currently, we hold at a membership status of 850, and they are, as you see, nicely distributed across the whole uh, globe, mostly North America and Europe, but very nicely growing in South America, in the Middle East, and in uh, Southeast and East Asia. Australia, New Zealand, of course, as well. So, uh, 18 uh, presidents have served uh, the society since uh, 1997. That's when we found it. Founding president uh, was uh, Bob Emery from Minneapolis. Past president is here. Hello, Mr. Past President. Greg Fontana is here. Um, and uh, as you see, there are several real uh, big shots among these uh, uh, presidents here, here. Here, people who have really uh, done first in the world procedures, who have uh, taken on the challenge of uh, going through small incisions, uh, uh, doing things that have never been uh, done before. We are very proud of that. Uh, we have uh, many presidents from the US, but also from France, from Germany, from India, from the UK, from Australia, uh, from Canada. Now, uh, we have uh, three uh, board meetings a year. Uh, the president leads, leads these board meetings, and uh, we do them usually at the EACTS meeting, at the STS meeting, and uh, at the annual ISMIX meeting itself. Uh, those board meetings are usually a whole evening, uh, sometimes until midnight, many things to discuss. And you see the board members here. Uh, as you may notice, there is a president, there's a president-elect, there's a vice president, a past president, a secretary, and the treasurer, and the editor of the journal. The directors are uh, chosen according to mm. regions in the world. So we have uh, North America, uh, Europe, and uh, the world at large, and our uh, program committee co-chairs uh, are part of the um, business meetings of the board meetings as well. 
The terms that these people serve are usually uh, three years. Uh, ISMIX runs a number of uh, important uh, committees. Uh, you see here we, of course, have an executive committee, a uh, past president's committee, bylaws, uh, publications committee. I want to draw your attention more to those uh, that we introduced more recently. There is an academic governance committee. Uh, we are co-sponsoring this meeting here, and anyone who is interested in having a meeting co-sponsored by ISMIX uh, it will be directed to the Academic Governance Committee that uh, reviews the program and then approves ISMIX uh, sponsoring. Important are the Education Committee uh, and um, the Young Surgeons Committee. We want to draw young uh, surgeons into our society to be well uh, trained and to push the field to present at our meetings. Uh, also, a robotic training task force was introduced uh, most recently to work on credentialing guidelines uh, for those who want to practice robotics um, out there. Our program uh, committee is usually uh, large. We commit to a large uh, uh, number of, uh, of uh, members participating. We want to give them the chance to review abstracts, to score them, and be part of the uh, annual meeting uh, program. There is a newly installed mentoring uh, task force. We want to put specifically uh, young colleagues or those who want to get in touch with experienced uh, colleagues, um, um, uh, get them in touch, uh, connect them, make uh, visits to centers possible, et cetera, and that's part of the, of the tasks of this uh, mentoring uh, task force. We are uh, run by an event management company called PRRI. Uh, they are, uh, have been with us since the very beginning, very professional people. They run other highly respected uh, uh, societies in, in medicine and uh, surgery. They are located in, in Boston, so this is, so to speak, our headquarters uh, right out of, outside of Boston in uh, Beverly. Now, we, um, the meetings that we had so far were the classic annual meetings and the winter workshops. Uh, the annual meetings alternate between North America and Europe, and we have essentially been in, uh, in many uh, big, uh, nice cities uh, in North America and in Europe. The uh, winter workshops are uh, hosted more on the, in, usually in conjunction with another society's meeting in, in, in co-organization uh, in South America in, and in Southeast Asia and East Asia. The upcoming meetings that we have will be in Vancouver for the annual meeting in 2018. And the winter workshops are already nicely booked out. Uh, we will have this year's in Abu Dhabi, then uh, uh, the following year in Athens, uh, then in Mexico City, and then in New Delhi. So we are booked out until uh, 2020 already. The, specific, the winter workshops have been specifically uh, well attended also over the last few years. Montreal last year, uh, Dr. Fontana was the uh, president there, um, had uh, a uh, participation of 570 and 490 uh, professional meaning, professionals, meaning, uh, meaning uh, physicians and um, allied health. Uh, the meeting was extremely uh, successful with highly interesting talks. We co-sponsored the Heart Team Summit at the University of uh, North Carolina. Those meet this meeting was organized by Andy Kaiser and Anil uh, Kishin. Also uh, well attended, as was the ISMIX Winter Workshop in Kyoto last year. Uh, Dr. Toro Asai, Professor Toro Asai, you see him here, organized these meetings and the attendance was also in the 300 uh, participants range. We are very happy to co-sponsor the um, Re-Evolution Summit here. I mentioned this this morning. It is extremely important for us that we offer these hands-on workshops for people who are newcomers and also for those who want to refresh their skills in uh, 
dry lab, wet lab, uh, cadaver, and uh, maybe later on even uh, animal models. Our this year's uh, meeting, annual meeting, will be in Rome. Um, what you see in the back is the Ala Aries. This is the temple of peace of the ancient uh, Romans. And uh, it will be from June 7 to 10, uh, 2017, at the Cavalieri. And we are expecting uh, a great uh, international attendance as well. The, the program is already more or less set up. And I uh, want to lead you through that a little bit. This will be our 20th anniversary meeting. It will be three and a half days with an expert faculty scientific sessions, poster uh, competition, uh, uh, nice keynote lectures coming up. Uh, the Kit Arum lecture um, uh, is uh, one of the, uh, Kit Arum was uh, one of our uh, uh, former board members, founding member, uh, died unfortunately. And in honor of uh, him, we are holding this uh, Kit um, uh, Aram Lecture and Alan Lumsden from this institution will uh, give us the honor to hold this lecture. We will have uh, master courses. Those will be more like uh, how I do it, uh, more the format that we are having at this meeting, uh, uh, concentrated on technical uh, skills, uh, how people do their procedures. They, will, they are asked to show li live in a box cases, recorded videos, really technical uh, aspects of their procedures. And that's on Wednesday, June the 7th, as you see here, uh, six blocks, uh, three in the morning, three in the afternoon. And the topics are uh, minimal invasive thoracic aortic surgery, uh, coronary surgery, mitral valve surgery, um, aortic, sur aortic valve surgery, uh, minimal invasive surgical approaches to heart failure, and uh, also atrial uh, fibrillation. And we will uh, have put very much effort into bringing less invasive surgical aspects as well as the new uh, transcatheter uh, techniques. There are opportunities to uh, run for awards at our annual meeting. We have uh, 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 three awards in, uh, that are sponsored by former uh, by past presidents, uh, there's the Bob Emery Award, uh, Manny Subramanian Award, and Chitwood uh, Travel Award. And in addition, we have the President's Award, Best Mini Presentation, Best Moderated Poster Competition, and Best uh, Video uh, Presentation. You can find this on our uh, website, uh, www.ismix.org. There's other interesting meetings coming up uh, throughout the year that we will co-sponsor uh, um, Dr. Puskasis and Taggart's uh, Coronary Congress in New York will be sponsored by uh, ISMIX. That's a specifically well-attended meeting, a series that started two years ago. A winter workshop, uh, I have the honor to host this in Abu Dhabi, uh, will be December 8 to 9. We will also uh, make this a very hands-on uh, course at our simulation center at the Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. And this uh, meeting is uh, um, run in cooperation with the Emirates uh, Cardiac Society, which is a uh, integrated uh, cardiology heart surgery society in the UAE. Uh, we are very proud that we produced a number of consensus uh, statements. Uh, you have uh, seen them uh, flashing up here. Um, uh, consensus statement uh, committees went ahead and under guidance of uh, professional statistical support um, went through several topics uh, and uh, published uh, recommendations. Again, they are uh, downloadable on our ISMIX uh, website. Uh, we started out with off-pump surgery in 2005, also endoscopic uh, vein harvesting. The off-pump one has been repeated due to accumulation of newer papers in 2015. And uh, we have dealt with other topics like transmyocardial laser revascularization, um, VAT lobectomy, stentless versus stented aortic valves, atrial fibrillation, 
minimal invasive versus open mitral valve surgery, and also uh, uh, blood management in the field of less invasive and conventional cardiothoracic uh, surgery. And those are also our most cited uh, papers that we have in our journal, which is called Innovations. Innovations, uh, subtitle, uh, Technology and Techniques in Cardiothoracic and uh, Vascular uh, Surgery. Uh, you can access this journal electronically at uh, www.innovationjournal.com. And uh, Dr. Damiano, who will be here uh, tomorrow, is the uh, chief uh, editor. What you see here is that we uh, produce uh, six issues uh, per year, and uh, every <coughs> issue has roughly uh, 80 uh, pages. And uh, what you can also see here is a growing number of articles, uh, 66 in 2013 and uh, 2016, it was a number of 94. It's well accessed, uh, we have, um, uh, subscribers in print and electronically, a total of uh, 3,117 uh, subscribers, most of them, of course, these days electronically, and uh, uh, 696 uh, still get the print issue delivered. The journal is distributed also across the globe. Uh, most uh, readers are, of course, in the, in the US, but as you see here, a nice uh, worldwide uh, distribution. Uh, also, the uh, article visits are pretty uh, numerous, as you see here. Um, in uh, 2016, uh, we, uh, for, the, for the views, article views, uh, we reached uh, uh, almost uh, 45,000 throughout the year. That is a, a, an excellent uh, number, I must say. And again, the US is the uh, most prominent uh, consumer, but also the new economies, India, China, Japan do pretty well, and uh, Europe uh, and uh, the global community is also looking into our journal pretty well. What we also introduced most recently is a registry of centers that do uh, less invasive, minimal invasive cardiothoracic surgery that is uh, under construction, but what you in the future will find on our website is a registry which you can uh, click and find uh, information on uh, where these centers are, who the people are working there, and there, through the website there will also be opportunities to get in touch uh, with uh, these centers for educational proctoring, uh, whatever purposes. Uh, it is easy to join us, of course. Again, if you want to remember, www.ismix.org. You find all the uh, application um, sites there. Uh, we are a relatively affordable uh, society and have uh, good um, annual fees for allied health and candidate uh, members as well. Uh, and at the annual meeting, there's always a nice uh, discount if you want to join. I hope I could give you an overview of what we are doing at ISMIX. I would love to see some of you join us. We are a young society, an active society, and I think with a bright future in the field of less invasive heart surgery. Thank you very much.